Hi Libras, welcome to your weekly reading for January 1st through the 7th. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind, how you feel about them, how they feel about you. The connection between the two of you, I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general, it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Moonology Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation so with that being said let's go ahead and jump right in show me how does libra feel about the person on their mind you are really in limbo about this person and if you talk to them right now you feel like your words will be too sharp um which is not a bad thing for you however we do have let me just get this out here we have uh the hierophant in reverse the devil and the hangman these are major things here and you're not putting up with any bs so how you feel about this person is they went against you know um, everything that they stood for or told you they stood for. And it looks like you see this person as the devil here, you know, and in limbo, like, why would they do this? Why would they do something that's so destructive? Um, there's even this thought that if you two are married, you're thinking about like a divorce here because you've had enough, enough is enough. Um, if you're not married to this person, it's that, you know, this was, you feel that this person was like, whatever, I'm going to do what I want, which was very selfish um, and one-sided. And that has you really like, like, what the heck? Just in limbo about the situation, meaning like not entirely sure what you should do about it. And we do have the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this is your, um, you know, your demeanor as of now and how you feel about the situation that you're not putting up with any bs you know if this person shows up you got a lot to say so they better not show up and try and say anything to you um that causes an argument all right let's go ahead and take a look at how they feel about you All right, so we have the High Priestess, the Fool, and the King of Pentacles here. Um, they have this secret knowing that you're going to take a new, fresh start in a different direction, or like maybe they should. Um, I'm re Okay, so how it's really coming off more than anything because it's kind of like in between they know what's going on they know obviously they know what's going on if they got caught in a situation but what i'm seeing here is that you know they have a secret knowing of something acting a little bit like naive in a sense like what all oh, just innocent about it and then the king of pentacles um you know they come off just very calm cool collective um, like I love you, um, in a sense, because the King of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So the way that they're handling things, it's almost like oblivious trying to be like, they don't know why you're upset or, you know, why you feel a certain way. But yeah. Which doesn't make any sense because they do know. So they have a secret knowing it's like their intuition, their gut instinct is telling them, yeah this is what's happening so let's go ahead and get the connection between you and this person okay um ace of cups the world card the two of swords and then the seven of um swords is at the bottom of the deck so the connection between the two of you a new romance and one that looks like it was different or online or something like that does not appear to be something that is still in effect um 
with a new romance of with somebody else it looks like that new romance is over i don't want to talk about it let's move on from it but there is the i don't trust you you know like you cheated you lied you broke every rule so um there's conflict so let's go ahead and start clarifying and we're going to start with the hierophant in reverse Right, so the Hierophant in reverse is clarified by the Six of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles in reverse, and then the King of Cups, as well as the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this person, um, you're like, they were giving their time and juggling their like love between me and someone else, which is very selfish, unfair, um, and that they basically treated you like an option and they had other options and, you know, they 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 committed adultery or whatever if they're in a relationship with you that's where you're going with this is you know you feel this way because this person really um treated you like you weren't their their partner or um you weren't their spouse um yeah. let's go ahead and clarify the devil You don't see this person the same anymore. You want things to end, but you don't know how to get out of the situation. It's just making you very unhappy. And you're trying to stay happy in a situation that makes you very unhappy. So we have the, the devil clarified by um, the death card, the hangman, and then the ace of cups in reverse. Also, you feel this person has just missed their opportunity to have anything with you. And you don't care that they're, you know, if they're seeing this person anymore or not. Because how it really comes off is I don't care. I don't have love for this person anymore. I'm done. I see them very different. And I like the Queen of Cups in a sense of you saying that I'm going to take back everything that I have, all this love that I have, and I'm going to take it elsewhere. Um, you know, but also wanting to end things and really uh, feeling in limbo about how do I do it, which is making you feel a little bit down. So just... Um, Stay strong like you're doing because the answers will come to you. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the hangman. Yeah, so you're in limbo about leaving the situation. If you're married or y'all are in a couple in a relationship that, you know, you live together because that's what it feels like. Um, you're not sure how you're going to leave a situation with no money or little to no money, times are hard, things like that. And um, the hangman is clarified by the five of pentacles, page of swords, and the chariot here. Um, so I see that also there, if it's if it has nothing to do with money, I mean, you don't live together and even if you do, there's also the sense of feeling, you know, left out in the cold, isolated and um, cautious about moving forward with this person, even when they come back to give you some kind of apology or act like something wasn't a big deal to you. It's a very big deal. And that, see that uh, Knight of Cups right there, this person does come back with an apology and they're really smooth uh, talker with their words. And yeah, you're like, I don't know about that. But there's also the fact that you want to leave the situation and wanting to move forward and follow your heart and your desires and like, no, I can do this and feeling like inspired to do it. Um, tells me that you're going to find a way to get through this tough situation that feels like you're a little bit stuck right now. So let's go ahead and clarify the high priestess.
Okay, so the High Priestess is clarified by the Four of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. The Seven of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Um, so those of you that do live together, this person has a secret knowing or like this feeling that you're not going to go anywhere. You two are going to stay in a relationship and work things out because something about, you know, money being an issue. Um, also, like they might be the one that's you know, like I'm the one that makes more money than they do. So where are they going to go? And that's very unfair. I don't see it coming off as smug, but I do see that seven of cups at the bottom of the deck is like they can explore other options because they feel like, you know, I'm not going to say anything that I was exploring other options. I'm just going to keep it quiet that I did. Um, also that they had a relate, like a full relationship with whoever this person was until you found out. And so they, you know, they were basically hiding that from you until they got caught or until they do get caught. And, but they also have this knowing that, you know, they provide a lot to the relationship financially and that they're the ones very successful or they're on their way to success here. Um, they also, even if it's not that and they, they try and play foolish games with you, Libra, you might be the one that's on the way to success. And so, or like you're achieving a lot in, um, your life financially, and that's why they want to hang on. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the fool. All right, we have the Magician, the World card, the Fool card, and then the Queen of Cups that comes out at the bottom of the deck. So this person is going to try and give this another chance. Like they're going to take this leap where they are trying to, I don't want to say manipulate because it doesn't come out completely as manipulation, but, you know, self-mastery of skills to complete something here with maybe feeling like, what, I didn't know that I did that or upset you, I'm sorry, or something like that. Because the way that they're coming off is like trying to give love in this situation and start over, wanting a fresh new start, manifesting like things closing out and having a fresh new start as well. Uh, and it really comes off as like things closing out in the past chapter of things that did not work or, you know, what happened between the two of you and let's not talk about it because in the connection where it comes out with that world card and that two um, of swords really feels like their energy about like, I don't want to talk about that person that I cheated on you with. Um, that's fine. They don't want to talk about the person they cheated with, but guess what? you do and you're not putting up with any bs nor should you and also they can't escape the fact that you want to talk about this you can't have a brand new beginning without clearing the air on past issues if they really want to fix this then they have to try but what i'm seeing is something of um well i really want to stay in this situation because you know just something about finances it keeps coming out that way and like do they love you or do they love the money let's go ahead and clarify this king of pentacles I see them as very successful as well. And maybe that's where they feel they can act the way that they do. Like, oh, Libra, you're not going to go anywhere. Libra, make a plan for yourself. Okay. And do not let this person change up for you at all. Um, just because you're in limbo doesn't mean that you're not going to figure things out. You know, you got yourself in this situation. You can get yourself out of it and you'll figure out how to do so. Something just really is coming off that you're on the verge of, of, having a solid plan for yourself to move forward without this person who thinks that they can keep you with material things. All right. So that King of Pentacles is clarified by the Temperance card, Ace of Wands and the Tower, as well as the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I do even see like where you were in limbo, you end up leaving this situation because you don't know how you're going to do it, but then you tell them or send them some kind of message like I'm out of here, leaving them a note or something like that and leaving the situation. It's a surprise to them because they were feeling that, you know, like, oh, we're going to work things out and that's what they're drawn to. And then there's this shock and surprise, like maybe you end up taking half of what they have or you know you're not wanting to stay in a situation that isn't working for you um let's go ahead and get the outcome between the two of you
And if you do stay, I do see more drama and it's because things are not discussed. And it's like they want to work things out, but yet they're doing things that are not appropriate in a relationship, you know, that show that they care. So the outcome between the two of you is the Ten of Wands, the Sun, and the Eight of Swords. Um, you've been carrying around this heaviness for some time of wanting to be happy and feeling stuck and you're tired of it and you're done. And that Queen of Swords is really telling me that you are taking a stand for yourself like enough is enough. Like you're taking your happiness back. You're not going to allow them to make you feel trapped here. Um, it's their turn to carry around this heaviness of not having, you know, you in their life and having happiness with you. So let's go ahead and get a couple of Oracle messages for you, Libra. All right. The first one that comes out is going to be work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. Okay, and the second one is going to be the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon and Capricorn. All right, so this is what I have for you. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.